Hello. So what do you say after somebody says this? Well, if you've taken any English classes, you're probably going to say, Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? In this video, I'm going to show you four different ways that you can continue this conversation. Plus, one bonus idea on how to start any conversation with almost anybody. So, stick around for that. You're at a party and somebody comes up to you. You make eye contact and they say, hello. How do you respond? Well, obviously, you need to say hello as well. But if this is a stranger, a person you've never met before, you want to make a good first impression. You want to continue the conversation. How can you do this? One way to do this is to give a compliment. A compliment is a nice thing that you say about a person. And everybody loves to hear a compliment. Hello, I love your... And then you talk about an object that they have, or their style, or their clothes. It could be their t-shirt, their pants, shoes, jacket. Or maybe they have a fascinating piece of jewelry, such as a necklace, ring, bracelet, or earrings. A follow-up question to this could be, where did you get it? And from there, you have the start of an interesting conversation, hopefully. <laughs> One thing to avoid is complimenting someone on a physical aspect that they can't control. All the time, people come up to me and they say, wow, you're so tall. Uh, thanks? How can I respond? It's something I don't control. It's just the way I was born. So don't do that. So if you're going to mention something about physical aspect, talk about something that they can control. Oh, I love your hair. You have beautiful skin. Those are amazing nails. Obviously, these are more for women, but you get the idea. And then you can follow up this with a question such as, well, how do you do it? How do you get your hair so shiny? What shampoo do you use? Another idea that you can use after saying hello is to ask them a question, but not just any question. You don't want to ask them a yes-no question, because that just closes the conversation. So you don't say, do you like the music? What you want is an open-ended question, such as, what kind of music do you like? Or, what's your favorite song? And with this, you can continue the conversation. Another option for keeping a conversation going is to give your opinion. I love this song. This is an awesome party. Or you can ask for their opinion. So what do you think of this place? What are some fun things to do here? Again, this makes for a more interesting conversation because people love to talk about their opinions. So now for the bonus material that I promised you at the beginning of the video. So now you're in a situation where everyone is together for the same reason. Maybe it's work related, for school, Maybe it's a conference. Maybe you're just at a party and you want to talk to somebody. One surefire way to do this is to extend your hand and say, I don't think we've met before. I'm Kevin. And then continue the conversation using the ideas that we've talked about before. This idea doesn't work on the street with strangers, but if you're with people who are there for the same reason as you, you're supposed to be talking to them anyway. So this is a great way to introduce yourself. Well, thanks a lot for watching this video. I'm sure you've learned a lot. Down in the comments, talk about how you continue a conversation. Everybody has their own ideas. Let's help each other out. As always, if you've enjoyed this, hit that like button and subscribe. It helps everyone involved to keep these videos coming. For ESL Success, I'm Kevin and I'll see you guys next time.